May 25th, 1787, the Constitutional Convention opens with a quorum of seven states in Philadelphia to discuss revising the Articles of Confederation. Eventually, all states but Rhode Island are represented. September 17th, 1787, all 12 state delegations approve the Constitution. 39 delegates sign it of the 42 present, and the convention formally adjourns June 21st, 1788. The Constitution becomes effective for the ratifying states when New Hampshire is the ninth state to ratify it. So when did America become America? You could say it was a, you know, Battle of York. You could say it was a Treaty of Paris. But that was, what, 81, 83? The Constitution becomes effective in 1788. So our Constitution is a 1788 Constitution. And it was when the majority, ninth state, or supermajority, New Hampshire. And then Congress is going to meet up the next year, March 4th, 1789. The first Congress under the Constitution convenes in New York City. And then April 30th, 1789, George Washington is inaugurated as the first president of the United States. So, 1788, got a constitution. 1789, got a congress. 1789, got a president. June 8th, 1789, James Madison introduces a proposed Bill of Rights in the House of Representatives. September 24th, 1789, Congress establishes a Supreme Court, 13 district courts, 3 ad hoc Circuit Courts in the position of Attorney General, September 25th, 1789, the day after Congress approves 12 amendments and sends them to the states for ratification. 12 amendments, but we only got 10. What happened to the other two? February 2nd, 1790, Supreme Court convenes for the first time after an unsuccessful attempt. February 1st, December 15th, 1791, Virginia ratifies the Bill of Rights and the 10 of the 12 proposed amendments become part of the U.S. Constitution at the end of 1791. So we got a U.S. Constitution, 1788, right? The Articles of Confederation wasn't working, so we had to do this route, Constitutional Convention in Philadelphia. Then you had 12 state delegations approve the U.S. Con the 39 delegates sign it. They adjourn 1787, and then these states have to ratify it. New Hampshire is the ninth state to ratify it, June 21st, 1788. It becomes in effect, and then we don't get our Bill of Rights until three years and a half, almost, later. So we barely got our Bill of Rights. We barely got the right to speak, the right to fucking bear arms, the right to not have soldiers quartering in our homes, the right to a whole bunch of shit, right? So three and a half years. Now, maybe they did it to make it exciting because James Madison introduced the Bill of Rights, right? Hey, let's get ourselves a Bill of Rights. And people were saying that the revolution was incomplete without it. And frankly, yeah, without the Bill of fucking Rights, there is no fucking revolution. The Constitution's okay, but the Bill of motherfucking Rights, that's why... I'm proud to be an American! Virginia ratifies the Bill of Rights and 10 of the 12 proposed amendments become of the U.S. Constitution. So I guess that's uh, the ninth state when Virginia ratified the Bill of Rights. And 10 of 12, I wonder, what were, what were the other two? I remember reading it before, but I, I forgot. And uh, are we ever going to get those back? December 15, 1791. So those are some dates to remember from this little book here with an introduction by Pauline Meyer. Declaration of Independence and the Constitution of the United States.